Support for an elderly farmer in Ontario is growing as the fight to keep his farm is running out of time. After seven years, the land that's been in Frank Meyer's family since before Confederation is being expropriated by the federal government to expand a nearby military base, CFB Trenton. And the 85-year-old is preparing to hand over the keys as early as tomorrow. Christina Stevens has the story. Frank's not gonna take it. No, he's not gonna take it. Frank's not gonna take it anymore. It's a Hail Mary protest. A determined group who won't give up on this farm, expropriated from its 85 year old owner, Frank Myers. They promised me the moon. But he says they haven't delivered. After battling the government for seven years, Myers finally signed the papers. But he says he was pressured into it. They just told him, sign here, sign here, the lawyers did. So they bullied everything through. Now he says he doesn't know what to do. So protesters carrying signs from every province people have sent messages of support from are hoping to convince the government to back off. This is the only thing Frank's ever known. And if he loses his reason for getting up in the morning, he'll die. It's just a travesty. It really is. I, I'm so upset. Like, I, I can't even think properly. It's just... It's awful. The more than 200 acres has been in Myers' family since 1798. Now it's being expropriated to expand CFB Trenton. The DND says they're adding a new training facility which will bring jobs to the area. And they're not backing down. Myers says they refuse to tell him when they're going to tear down the barns, but it could be as early as tomorrow. And he still has personal items inside, including some machinery. They're playing a cat and mouse game with us. They're trying to aggravate me to no end. They'd love me to drop dead and go away. And they're trying everything in their can to do it. Might not happen for a while. And this kind of encouragement and knowing 15,000 people are behind him on Facebook help keep him going. I get letters from uh, France, got letters from Brazil, uh, Australia, got letters from New Zealand. Hundreds of them from BC. I thank her from the bottom of my heart. The question is whether any of it will be enough to save the farm. Christina Stevens, Global News, Trenton, Ontario.